praying and he was meeting up against opposition and the Bible say Daniel kept on praying. See the problem is we don't stop praying because you don't see nothing happening. Just because you don't see nothing happen don't mean nothing ain't going on. Come on, that's what he told Daniel. He said, I got to, he said, he said, I got to go get some more help. That's what Gabriel said. That's the war angel. He said, I got to go get some more help. See, that's why you got to continue to pray. See, he he had favor when he was in Potiphar's house. Then when he was in Potiphar's house, say Potiphar's wife. See, you got to understand that devil would get mad at you because you blessed. Because you on the job and they say nobody else wouldn't get a raise. But your supervisor said, I'm going to give you one. Even though I ain't giving them them, but I'm going to give you one. Come on here. But somebody heard you say something about it. See, Potiphar's wife got jealous. And she said, you know what? I want him. He look good to me. Come on here. And, that, and, and, and Joseph said, wait a minute now. Huh? The Bible said that Joseph had so much power, he was the second in command even though he was in prison. He was running that man business. He was running that man house even though he was a slave. He told the wife, I got, I'm running everything in this man's house but you. He said, I wouldn't dare touch my master's wife. She lied on him and told Potiphar that he raped her. Come on here. So what Potiphar had to do? Potiphar had to put him in jail because he couldn't risk saying that his wife was a lie over a slave. Say, but Joseph kept believing. Come on, we talking about a complex here. Come on, because subconsciously, even though you're going through, you got to keep believing. See, even when Joseph was in prison, come on here, he met up with the cup barrier and the baker. Come on here. And see, he was at a place where they had two dreams and couldn't nobody interpret what the dream meant. But say, but Joseph. See, God had Joseph in the right place. And see, Joseph began to interpret the people's dreams. And the dreams came to pass. And Joseph told, told the cup bearer, when you get to a place with the king, don't forget about me. Say people forget about you. He got the dream came to pass and he forgot about Joseph. To one day, come on, you got to understand that your words are being on trial. Come on here. See, the king had a dream that he couldn't understand. He called his witches and warlocks, his magicians. That's what the Bible said, they magician, but they were witches and warlocks. And they couldn't understand what the dream meant. Then the cup bearer said, wait a minute. It was somebody who helped me with my dream. So let's call Joseph and ask Joseph to help you. Come on. So Joseph began, they called Joseph for, Joseph began to, the king began to tell Joseph what the dream was. Yeah. Joseph began to give him the interpretation yeah. of the dream. And Joseph began to say, well, this need to be done. This need to be done. And the king said, my God. I just hear him my God. He said, since he gave you the wisdom with this, I need somebody to show me how am I going to be able to be blessed when I know it's going to be a famine, when I know it's going to be a drought. I need somebody to help me to make sure that my kingdom don't run low. Yeah. Joseph said, here I am. See, you got to understand God setting you up. You got to understand when you keep on prophesying, you keep on waging war over that word. God going to do what he said he going to do. And see, and when Joseph when God, Joseph began to interpret that dream, the Bible said that he began to be the highest ranking man in command over all of them. Now that's going to bring us to where we get. So now when you look at Psalms 105 and 16, it's going to bring us to where we at now. He said he called down famine on the land. We talk about the Lord now. And he destroyed all their foods, all their supplies of food. And he sent a man before them, Joseph, sold as a slave. They bruised his feet with shackles. His neck was put in eyes till what he foretold came to pass. Till the word of the Lord proved him true. When I look, I want to read it in the new, I want to read it out the King James Version. Verse 19 say, until the time his word came, the word of the Lord tried him. You, hear, you see that? I want you to underline, tried him. So you got to understand, in order to walk in this complex that we're walking in, your word got to be tried. See, when I looked up that word, word in 